Ta-da! Okay. Video number one. With the top of a head. All right, so... put it so. on your Bible, so it's just not half the There we go. Okay. okay. All right, so... Here is... Here's what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, all right, so we're talking about... Oh. Yeah. Sit with me. Oh, no, no. Just yes, sit with please. me. Relax. Just relax. Um, all right. So we're talking about the temple. Mm -hmm. We're talking about that scene when Jesus goes into the temple and sees that it's been turned into a marketplace. And he is zealous for his house. And he makes a whip. Drives everybody out. Mm-hmm. And so what you're saying is that before the Holy Spirit came to dwell in us and make his home in us, mm -mm. his home was the temple. Mm -hmm. That was where the Holy Spirit dwelled. Mm -hmm. um, and Satan had come in. Go ahead and say what you were just saying again. Well, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, just the, what, what you said is that that, that, that before, before Christ died and then sent his Holy Spirit, the temple was... The, the place where the whole nation of Israel knew that God inhabited in his presence in the Holy of Holies and the Ark, you know. Yeah. And so Satan, in his arrogance, said, I'm, and in his yeah, arrogance, said, I'm going to make this mm -hmm. a mockery. And that's the one, that's what you're saying, the one time in the Bible where, in the New Testament, for sure, where uh, Jesus physically drives out the representation of that mockery. Yes. In the in the one place where God said, I will dwell mm. on earth permanently in the temple. I mean, permanently until the Holy Spirit came to dwell within us as yeah. the temple. I, I, so, and so you can't take that scripture and go, oh, God gets angry with sin. Or God's going to make a whip. And you know what I mean? Yes. That's kind of how yes. it started. So um, what I'm... What I'm getting from what you're saying mm -hmm. as well is that <coughs> um, Jesus came in, saw that Satan had taken up res residence in his holy temple. Mm -hmm. And he, with a zeal and a passion and an anger, drove out Satan mm -hmm. from his holy temple. Mm -hmm. Where does he reside now? So he resides in us now. His mm -hmm. Holy Spirit resides in us. Mm -hmm. And if we're to be zealous about anything, you know, it is to be like the anger that Jesus had toward the mm -hmm. representation mm -hmm. of, toward the people making a mockery of his holy temple. Mm -hmm. um, that just shows me that if we're to be angry about anything... It's Satan taking up residence in God's holy temple, mm. which is mm -hmm. us. And so that shows, again, it's not against flesh and blood. Yes. When we see that people are struggling with sin or acting out of their own, you know, anger or arrogance or pride or whatever, we don't get angry at the people. They're the <clears> temple. <throat> but Satan, get out. Yes. You know? Yes. And we declare and we love the person, the temple. Yes. But we rebuke and cut off in Jesus name the uh mm. Satan and his enemy or the enemy in general Satan and his whatever spirits mm -hmm. taking up residence in God's holy temple we are his temple now yes and yes. so again it's like putting that focus on like it is not against flesh and blood we yes. don't get angry at people we have a ze we have a zeal for his temple. It is pure. It is holy. Do not defile yeah. it. And I'm just getting as I were, as we're talking. Uh huh. And the, don't go, don't go get in front of the camera, honey. And, and just a second. And the fact that they were taking and it's that the enemy through the people were taking the sacrifices, which eventually would be Jesus and Jesus alone mm. and selling them for money. I mean, making it a mockery. Oh, 
Yeah. You know, the sacrifices are just about money. So they were selling the animals and the bird, and he, he turned over. Yeah. It's like he declared in that moment, he turned over the money tables. You, my, my sacrifice is priceless. You can't, it can't be bought. There's no other way but my blood. Yeah. Not buying it with money. I mean, it's like, there's probably so much more in that oh, story yeah. than what we realize. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, that's good. I never even considered that part. I didn't either. All right, buddy, you go in timeout. Yeah, I'm sorry, honey. I, you're just not being, you're not being obedient here. So, man. Now you get to be in the video. Because <laughs> you're in the corner. Turn around. Thank you. E for Ezra. Turn around. I think that's the end of the video. <laughs> so, what we were just talking about. Okay, so the zeal for the Lord. If we're going to be zealous about anything, now that Holy Spirit has come and made his home in us and we are his temple. If we are going to have a zeal for anything, a righteous anger for anything, it's going to be a righteous anger and zeal to keep that temple holy and pure. Yes, that is so profound. It's not an anger toward other people. No. That's absolutely not what it's about. No. Oof. It's the holiness and the sanctity of his temple. Ooh, and man. so that totally flips everything yeah, it on does. its head. Because now if we're going, no, I have a zeal to keep this temple yeah. pure. And, and, a, and a righteous anger against anything that would come and try and defile Ooh. this temple. Ooh. And this not people, awesome. but this, yes, the enemy. Yeah. And I have a, a righteous zeal and anger for anything that would try and come and defile your holy temple, yeah. you know, like, and so again, we're fighting for people, not against flesh mm -hmm. and blood, but against the principalities and powers. So it, I like, it's like in every <laughs> scripture we go like, yeah, that goes, yeah. that is the gospel yes. that's the truth yeah. it's not against flesh and blood yeah. and yet we see people fighting all the time and i have a right to be angry the only time we really see him get angry is here mm -hmm. oh, he is. He's so cute. <laughs> turn around and i'll let you out honey i just have to have that 10 seconds of you just being in there and being nice and quiet being obedient <laughs> So that's powerful. Mm. So powerful. And it takes the, the justification for being angry yeah. at what people did to me and they should know better. And that's, that, that is the point. It's not, a, it's not about what you are doing to me. It's what the anger that Jesus showed in the temple. It was his temple. Yes. It was his dwelling, the father, dwell, you know? Yes. And it was the anger about what we're doing to my temple. Yeah. My father's house. So it is, we don't even get to, I don't think we get to even look at somebody else and go, I'm angry on God's behalf because of what you're doing to your temple. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's my, it's Jesus. It was his house. Uh huh. And Satan, how dare you? No, yeah. I mean, however he would say it, but he, yeah. Yeah. It was a blunt, it was a blunt picture. He didn't have to even do that. <laughs> yeah. But he, and it was a blunt picture of how serious he is about the defiling of, of our temple. Yeah. Yes. And it was a mockery. What a mockery. They were selling the sacrifices, the the representation of what Christ did for us once and for all. It was a mockery of that sacrifice because that's yeah. what they were selling. Was... Yeah. Yeah. So for profit. For profit. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. I want I want to dig into that more. Yeah. Man. I love you, babe. Are you ready to come out and be obedient? <laughs> Wonderful. Come on over here. You can sit with Nancy, okay? Yes, Mama. <laughs> yes, Mama. Okay, don't you worry about the camera. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Digging in. It, so you can, you can probably, I think we're good. I was just thinking, 